taught you, please, who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. This drummer, he's gonna send a message by drum. We're getting off. It's for freedom. Stop that. But don't you want to be free, bro? Just, just, just stop, stop all that African talk about, about drums and all that stuff. Keep on listening to these niggas that keep talking, taking y'all back to Africa. They don't give a fuck about you. Why the fuck is we going back to Africa? We ain't from Africa. We from a fucking America. Twenty-five year old goodness Ben wants to be a famous model and actress. For her dream to become reality, Ben says she needs a lighter complexion, so she bleaches her skin. Yes, this is Nigeria. And a fair skin is business. In the movie industry, most times directors want you to like glow. According to a 2011 estimate by the World Health Organization, some 76 million Nigerians, the majority women, use products to lighten their skin. The treatment, a multi-billion dollar industry, reduced the content of melanin, a substance that gives skin color. Nigerians such as Ben say it also improves their confidence. Yes, for me to be better, for me to be fairer, for me to be more beautiful. And I feel a fairer skin attracts more favors. So. Hi, Steve. Hi. So Greensboro has a lot of museums, but it has even more American history buffs. Problem is, I'm not one. Whenever I'm in circles of people talking about history, my eyes get wide and I panic. I pray that no one will ask me about historical topics. So what I do is I just avoid eye contact and I head straight to the bar. But I need a better strategy. What should I do if I find myself in a conversation with a history buff that goes over my head? I want you to look right at the person and do this right here. They ask you something about the past. You say, I don't really care for slavery. I don't really care for slavery. I don't really care for slavery. This minute more white, this minute more dark. You get me? So it's not a constant thing when we're ever white. It used to be more women having this interest in fixing up themselves, fixing up their skin. And now we have men and women who are moving towards it and seeing it as a high fashion, fashion and style. Me did black, 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 some of them don't want to come round too. So I mix up everybody for go full speed ahead. Them will see breakout and damages. 
Yeah, me used to bleach hard one time and be brown out right through so they become a brown in. When was that? About um, three to four years about now. But from then, I get to work and I have to tone down and then I get pregnant. So I have to stop because the chemical, you know, it will hurt the baby. So from then time, I stop. But since I have a baby now, I just rub my body, but I just use gun roller and tone. Some people bleach and it's nice. Yeah, certain girls will have low complexion and them do bleach, but it's not like bleach, it's tone. They tone, them, tone up them skin. I may make them come look brown. Because you have something against dark skin, or you know, like how dark skin looks. No, man, as when I tell you, say, when I forget dark, I just natural thing, but when I forget white, I just turn up at the thing. I just, so I'm not a constant bleach, you know, I'm white every day. This minute, my black, this minute, my white. We understood that skin bleaching, as they call it, the lightning of the epidermis, with things that are not approved by dermatologists was something that people did and this is what we were told because they didn't understand their black heritage, their African heritage and it was a rejection of their Afrocentric nature and a leaning towards Eurocentrism, wanting to be white or as light as possible. Every man say for me come along Go for your sun tan in the summer sun If you want to be a child, go back home Go for your umbrella, go this one about Here I'll be on our face And here, here Burns some of the time you find some part um, with different different color because why you like you know you like your knuckles mm, let me see your knuckles they, they claim the knuckles, knuckles will stay dark on, on, brown, but after a while you can get it out so yeah so we do see your other your old complexion there yeah with your knuckles. knuckles yeah well you don't know bleaching change of a color sometimes you make your red sometimes you make your pink you make your brown you make your black sometimes the other people are bleach your brown and get black 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 because if you look at a real white person, that person might look pink. And that pink that he has is like a stage in my bleaching. So that's a stage before I get to super white. Some people black and ugly, some girls black and ugly, you know. You know what I'm saying? So you see when them put on bleaching, them kind of look good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you have some girls that are them too ugly. In complexion, black, like a tar. It, it makes girls more attractive when they do it. When they bleach, it looks, they look better, brown and pretty, better than when, how they look when they're black. That's what she likes. So you think that a lot of the girls are doing it because guys like brown girls, right? You really got it. That is something we can't tell you the secret behind it because we are white men come down here look the pretty black girl them and the black men them love white skin women we don't know what's wrong with them you know and that is something we can't tell you the secret behind it because we are white men come down here look the pretty black girl them and the black men them love white skin women we don't know what's wrong with them you know and the black men them love white skin women we don't know what's wrong with them you know and the black men them love white skin women we don't know what's wrong with them you know we don't know what's wrong with them you know attention from girls when you're oh around. my god pull up a girl like netball man Hooray! you know what i'm saying so they were running you down yeah you know if you say a word when you walk out white and you're clean in your clothes you get a lot of girls when jamaica was owned by the british they were offspring of white people who were light complexion and they were the ones getting the jobs they were the teachers the nurses certainly you could not work in a bank if you were not light complexion so from people promulgate this bleaching thinking that if the lighter color people are the ones who are more likely to be employed and those of them who want employment some of them are the ones who do the bleaching this is a psychological problem they probably have the syndrome called body dysmorphia people have bleach out their skin and then when they got in the yard they're not a fool in their fridge they're not they can't pay them bill they can't send them picnic at school because white black people bleaching is just because of poverty you understand what i'm saying it's poverty 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 ah!